suspect in another murder here in Honolulu. He's also the only person who knows where Peking Man is. I know where Peking Man is. He's buried in the National Cemetery. But you don't know where. No. I don't know where, but maybe I can find out. How? By opening every grave there? I don't know yet, Jonathan. There have already been protests. When you opened that grave the other day, it hit the wire services. Veterans' families have been sending telegrams to their congressmen. They think you're going to dig up every grave in the cemetery. Steve, I understand your problem. Do you? And you've got to understand ours. We've got to weigh the relative value and importance of Parmel against our developing relations with China. Which you've obviously already done. I think it's been done without either of us. One man against the foreign policy of the United States. Jonathan, I don't give a damn about communist China. And I will not bargain with Parmel. Be reasonable, Steve. Look. Suppose I make a bargain with you. What kind of bargain? I'll give you the rest of the day. I've got to fly out of here by 10.30 tonight. Find Peking Man by that time, and Parmel gets what's coming to him. Otherwise, I'll have to follow orders. Okay, you've got a deal. By 10 o'clock tonight. <laughs>